Hello everybody, my name is Katie Hunt and I am the K-12 Education Specialist at the Indiana State Museum and today I have a challenge for you. I am challenging you to create your own Rube Goldberg machine at home. And the extra challenge here is that it must drop a bar of soap into somebody's hand. Now this is a nationwide challenge that is happening right now. And if you'd like to compete in it, you can create a Rube Goldberg machine that has 10 to 20 steps and upload it to YouTube by May 31st. But what even is a Rube Goldberg machine? Hmm. A Rube Goldberg machine is a chain reaction contraption that solves a very simple task in a very complicated and humorous way. And so these were all inspired by a gentleman named Rube Goldberg. He was a cartoonist in the early 20th century and he would draw these fantastic cartoons that would solve a simple task in a complicated way, like watering a plant or feeding a pet. And so over the years, people have taken those cartoons and they've used them as blueprints to be able to design their own machines at home and in competitions. And we can do that too. A lot of Rube Goldberg machines use simple objects that you can find around your house, like books or cans or anything like that. You can use cardboard and tape and create a masterpiece. And I'm gonna show you one that I've created back here in just a few minutes, but I'm gonna walk you through some of the steps you're gonna to wanna to take if you're gonna create a Rube Goldberg machine at home. Now, if you've never created one of these before, I suggest starting out by making one that only has three to five steps in it. That way you can kind of get a feel for how it works. And then if, if you want to, you can add more to it. So we're gonna follow the engineering design process for this. The first step is to brainstorm. Now we wanna solve the problem of dropping a bar of soap into somebody's hand at the end of our machine. And so we need to think about what supplies we might use. For mine, I use things like building blocks and books. I use tape. Um, I have lots of little dinosaur toys out here to add some humor to my design. Um, you might be able to use things that roll like different size balls. I'm gonna use a marble in mine, but golf balls, I've got a wiffle ball up here. You could use things like cans, those will roll away. Um, you're gonna wanna use things that you can use as ramps too. So that might be where your cardboard comes in handy or another book. So in this step, I want you as you're brainstorming to maybe even collect some of these items that you can use. And I want you to be building this as a family. So make sure you talk to everybody in your group about what you wanna use. Okay, so after the brainstorming step, you move right into sketching your design. Now this is probably one of the most important steps in the design process. And your sketch is gonna work as a blueprint as you move along. And a good sketch is a labeled sketch. So I have mine right here that I've created. I've gone through and I've drawn out my first three steps that I have right here. Um, and I've labeled them along the way. And then you can see that I've kind of got some question marks here. I don't know where I'm gonna go next with my design. And then at the very end, a bar of soap dropping into somebody's hands. All right. So once you've taken some time to sketch, um, you can start to build. So gather up your supplies and think about where you're gonna build as well. Because sometimes this might take more than one day to build. So you might need to think about a place in your home that doesn't get as much foot, tra foot traffic where people are gonna be walking through all the time. I built mine on my table back here. Okay, so as you're building, make sure you, that you're talking with your group um, and collaborating on all of the great ideas that you have. And once you've finished designing, you can come go along and test. So I'm gonna test my design right now. So I'll come back here. Now I have my, I use some building blocks right here to build a little bit of a tower. And then I have some foam tubing um, right here. A pool noodle could work too as a little ramp. Let's see, I've got some books stacked up here. Um, I've got a book to work as a ramp right along here. I've got a little car and then I've got some dominoes for this step down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test my design. I'm gonna put my marble up here and see what happens. All right, so it works, but I might wanna change a little bit about it so my marble doesn't roll across the table or that maybe I have more steps. And after the design step that and testing, that's when you get to redesign and add more. 
Okay, so you have just followed the engineering design process along with me as I created the first part of a Rube Goldberg machine. So now this challenge is up to you. How would you finish this machine? And when you finish your machine, and if you share it on social media, make sure you tag hashtag Indiana Explored so that we can come along and see all of your amazing designs. So thank you all so much for joining me today and have a great day.